Hey, what's up everyone? Romel here from Mini Arms Depot. And for today's video, we're gonna show you exactly how we make our 112 scale action figure leg or thigh holster, uh, such as the one that you guys see here. Thank you again for tuning in and let's get right down to it. So for this project, you're gonna need some very basic materials, which you may already have with you inside your craft studio or inside your sewing room if you do that. Uh, or maybe you have some available from your diorama uh, collection of uh, materials that you've collected over the years. But basically you're going to need some sort of fabric. Uh, I like to use the one here, um, which is a black synthetic leather. And it has the felt-like material on the back side of it. And you guys can get these at Hobby Lobby, uh, Michaels, or even Walmart will have them in their fabric department and they're relatively uh, cheap I guess you could say but I think you have to buy them by the yard or quarter yard or some sort um, you're also going to need a piece of elastic cord uh, this will eventually go around your action figures leg obviously and that uh, will show you how to do that here in a minute and you will also need a piece of ribbon uh, and this is optional because they're more for a cosmetic look so I'll show you guys that here later on as well in a few minutes and you will also need again optional uh, for this part uh, small miniature buckles and these are the ones that are uh, three millimeter inside diameter I've never been able to find these in my local craft store uh, not even Hobby Lobby here at my hometown have it but I've always been able to just buy them online. So this, these may be uh, some specialty items that normal craft stores may not have them and uh, keep them in stock. So primarily you're going to need, of course, your fabric and then some sort of elastic cord at a minimum. And once it's all said and done, it's basically going to look like that. And again, I apologize for my camera not being able to zoom in here but it's basically going to look like that and as you can see the buckles will uh, go on the strap and on the holster itself so those are just all for cosmetic looks now if you don't have any of the materials readily available for you and you don't want to buy in quantities uh, at your local craft store uh, we do sell in our ebay etsy and mercari store a complete kit that you guys will about to see here in a minute uh, it comes with the leather it comes with the elastic strap and it also comes with the ribbon the buckles and you even get to have the option to purchase I don't know if you guys can see that the pistols that you guys see here on the action figure for my six inch GI Joe classified Duke so there's an option to buy those uh, right now the standard edition the the one that doesn't come with the pistols go for less than 10 bucks with free shipping so that's something that you guys may want to consider so the kit is basically what you see here and um, it even comes with this little template that uh, we use to cut out the shape of the holster which uh, I'll show you guys that here in a minute too but it's obviously optional uh, it's not something that you must have but I'm just saying that if you don't have the materials readily available and you want something quick that you know that you can make two holsters for right away right off the bat uh, consider that for 10 bucks at our store but without further ado let's go ahead and get started so now that the materials are out of the way, the next thing that I want to show you real quick are the tools that you may need in order to do this project. So obviously you're going to need a pair of scissors. Uh, some, I prefer a fine tip uh, tweezer uh, simply because I got stubby little sausage fingers <laughs> and it's always very difficult for me to pick up uh, these little buckles that uh, I showed you guys earlier so fine tip tweezers works great for me and I like to have uh, some sort of a marker or a pen that has a different color that is bright 
different color from the fabric that I'm working with. That way I can see exactly when I trace the shape of my uh, holster, I, I would be able to see it very quickly. But the choice is yours. Even, even a pencil would, would work. And I also like to use a leather punch uh, tool and I think that's the the name of this but basically later on when I show you guys I like to punch holes on the side or on one of the face of the holsters after I cut them out and basically the idea is we're gonna have that elastic strap go through it uh, for a much sturdier connection and uh, that will basically wrap around your action figures leg uh, that way you don't have to just strap on the glue uh, onto the face of the, the holster and then just have it come out later on. But I'll explain all that here in a minute and uh, I'll even have a little uh, picture uh, somewhere here at the bottom of your screen uh, that will guide you exactly where you need to punch these holes if you're going to go this route. And last but not least, you will also need some super glue. And we use these guys quite a lot. And I like the gel control type. Uh, and I think every company that makes super glues out there has some sort of uh, gel control. And it really does help when you're applying the super glue uh, onto the holster and onto the straps and really control how much comes out. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and get started and uh, let's make some holsters. So the very first step is, again, I'm working off of uh, what's available inside the kit. Uh, the one that I showed you guys earlier, uh, this guy. Uh, we'll go ahead and trace the shape of our holster and cut it out. Okay, just like that. And again, you don't need to buy the kit and you could do this completely on your own. And um, if you don't have the, the template that I just used just a few seconds ago, uh, you can easily just draw this out on your own, which is a very simple shape. It's almost like a, a heart, really. And you just kind of go like that. And like that. Right, so for us here in the shop, um, we used to draw them out by hand uh, also, but the problem is, as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of clumsy and I'm not really um, uh, a good artist when it comes to drawing and drawing shapes. So I rely on the template, but um, sometimes it's not even, sometimes it's too small, sometimes it's too big. So for me, I like using the, the template for consistency. Uh, but again, it, it's completely up to you, right? But it, it's not a very complex shape that you can't uh, uh, do it without the template. So feel free. So the next step now is obviously to cut it out. And when you are cutting this out, I want to point out if you are using the template or if your marker's tip is quite big like this one, you want to cut inside the line. Um, let's see if I, yeah, right here. You want to cut inside the line and not from the outside because that will give you the wrong dimensions if you cut from the outside. So cutting from the inside will give you the correct dimensions overall. So let's go ahead and get this cut out. All right, so for the sake of this video, we're only going to make one uh, to keep it nice and short here. I don't want you guys being here for too long. <laughs> But, and since I already made one for him earlier, we're going to go ahead and just make the one for his left. But your holster, after cutting it out, should resemble something like that. If you are using the template, right? If you buy one of our kits. Uh, but it should look somewhat similar to that. And the idea eventually is it's going to get folded in half, just like so. And that will act as your holster. So for the next step is now I take my leather punch um, tool and I create two vertical lines here. And let's see if I could just draw that real quick. I can show you guys. And you can just kind of guesstimate what um, where they need to go. But basically I'm going to punch holes on top of each other 
on these two lines uh, right on the middle of the holster there and basically our elastic strap is going to loop through that which will be a lot stronger like what I said earlier it will have a much stronger effect wrapping around your figure's leg as opposed to just uh, uh, gluing it on here on the back but let's go ahead and do that now uh, but first thing before we need to do that I always like to just get a quick measurement of how big the strap is going to be so just wrap the elastic cord around your figure's leg and get a quick measurement and then add two or three millimeters more just for for safety's sake, right? You don't want it to be too uh, too short and then too tight, and you don't want it to be too big and then too loose. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side, and then we'll go ahead and punch our holes. Okay, just like that. And again, I apologize for my camera not being able to zoom in, but if you guys can't see that, somewhere in the bottom of your screen here, I'll have a photo with a, uh, a photo of the holster, which will have the outline of where exactly you need to punch those um, lines. So if you don't have a tool, a uh, leather punch tool, don't worry. Uh, the same effect can be done using your X-Acto or your hobby knife, right? So you just cut it out uh, individually. Just make sure they're like a little bit, you know, uh, apart, maybe two to three millimeters apart, just so that there's a little bit of uh, sturdiness there. So now what we're going to do is take our uh, elastic strap that we cut out earlier, and we're going to loop that through, starting from the outside of the holster. And I like to use my tweezer because I have stubby little sausages here. Just like that. So again, you start from the outside and then you loop it through from the inside over and under and then uh, right back out to the other hole, uh, ending out again on the outside of the holster. There you are. And then the next thing I like to do now from here is I just take a little bit of super glue and I apply a little bit of glue right on the edge of the holster. So let me draw uh, a line here of exactly where it needs to go on the holster just for the sake of this video. And you guys can see that. Uh, you don't want to put any on the top, and then you don't want to obviously put glue all over here in the middle because then the holster won't open anymore, right? So you just need to apply a little bit of glue there on the edge on the one side of the holster. And if you guys can't see that, again, I apologize once more. But don't worry, I'm going to have a close-up photo uh, somewhere here at the bottom of your screen, and I'm going to show exactly where you, you should apply that um, small piece of glue there uh, right along the edge of the holster. So let's go ahead and do that now. And again, my material is um, synthetic leather and the back side of it is felt material. And so therefore you don't really need a whole lot, just a little bit and then you just fold it up in half and close it together. And once again, be very careful with the glue because once it goes everywhere and you put too much, it'll create some white globs on there and they're, they're very difficult to uh, come out or come off the um, synthetic leather there. So this is what I was talking about earlier, that it, it has a much stronger connection because it's looped through the holster itself, the, the strap. So what I've seen in the past is people would rather, uh, now let's say they, this is their strap and then they close it down 
and then they just glue that right on the face of the holster itself which is fine that's okay to do too if that's you know all you can do uh, and you don't want to put the holes there but eventually what's going to happen is eventually it's just going to snap out of there over time and then you're going to have to reapply more glue and uh, redo the whole process again and it's just kind of messy and that's just something I've learned over time and to me it's just not worth it so if you can spare additional few minutes you know I would highly suggest to do just that and uh, I think you'll be pretty happy with the results there so the next step now is we're going to add the cosmetic stuff and again this is optional so if you purchase the kit from us uh, that I mentioned earlier the buckles will be included uh, in the kit. So again, uh, right now it's available at our eBay store, Etsy store, and Mercari. And uh, feel free to uh, browse at the link uh, provided down in the description below. But let's go ahead and add the buckle, the first one anyway. So on the leg strap, you want to put the buckle on the front towards the front of the holster so this is the back and this is the front so you want to loop the buckle here just like so and again I'll have uh, somewhere in the bottom of the the screen here a uh, close-up shot of where the front of the holster is and where the back is going to be let's go ahead and do that now there you go yeah, I should <clears throat> snip that a little bit and make it easier to go through the buckle. Okay, just like so. Right there. And now we're ready to close that uh, strap down and just apply a little bit of glue right over here and strap it down or glue it down I should say just like that there you go Wait a few minutes and that should be pretty dry fairly quickly there that's actually at this point ready to go around your action figures leg but I like to add one more piece of <clears throat> cosmetic here another eye-catching thing I guess you could say which is I'm gonna add another buckle on the front of the holster just like that with a ribbon so we're gonna go ahead and grab our three millimeter ribbon and we are going to loop that around just like so and then what I like to do just go like this position it how you want it and then we're gonna add a little bit of glue on the back side here and again you only need a little bit and you don't have to glue it all the way to the end there but you can if you want to make it go all the way around the holster but I don't typically do that and then just trim off a little piece here and then glue the other side and the back side just like that there you go So for me, it um, creates a, an additional uh, look on there. I think it looks cool and uh, kind of gives it a more realistic effect or look on the holster itself. And then one of the very last things you need to do from here is strap it down onto his leg. So starting from the ankle all the way up, position it to where you want. And then you're going to take his pistol and put it in the holster, just like that. 
And again, I'm sorry that my camera won't zoom in there, but basically that's how he's going to look once it's all said and done. And I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, he's quite ready for battle right about now. So for me, that gives my G.I. Joe classified figures a more uh, modern or upgraded look, I guess you could say, and give them uh, soft goods uh, accessories as opposed to the traditional uh, injection molded rubber plastic type of uh, holsters that they typically come with in their packaging, the original packaging. So um, again, these will also work for other action figures, so such as this guy right here, the uh, Ar Ar Arnold from uh, Predator, Dutch. Uh, he's a 7-inch action figure from NECA, and as you can see, that actually uh, fits very well for him as well, and, in, and it scales quite well. And again, we do sell the kits uh, online, and they go for right around less than $10 right now in our eBay store. Uh, Etsy store and Mercari. However, feel free to use whatever you may have available already and I actually suggest to start there. So as you can see these holsters are not very difficult to make. And next week we will actually show you the shoulder uh, holster harnesses which goes around uh, his shoulders there and uh, that will be specific to the GI Joe classified line. Uh, the one for the uh, smaller body here, like Duke and uh, Flint. And uh, we'll also show you how you can uh, make them for different sizes of uh, figures that are a little bit bigger, such as uh, the ones from NECA over here, uh, Arnold. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that particular accessory is actually uh, quite popular too. So, um, and we will be selling the kits for those as well, uh, separately. So. Thank you for watching, thank you for your time, and until next time, thanks.